To decide whether existence emerging from nothingness is even logically possible, we need a precise definition of nothing. For instance, by nothing do we mean no things, or do we mean absolute nothingness, no laws, structures, properties or principles. Defining nothing. Quote. It might have been true that nothing ever existed, no living beings, no stars, no atoms, not even space or time. When we think about this possibility it can seem astonishing that anything exists. End quote. Derek Parfit in Why Anything. Why This? 2008. What is nothing? It seems like a straightforward question. Just keep removing things until there is nothing left. Start with the universe as it is. Wipe away all the matter and energy. Take away all the quantum fields of the vacuum, and any virtual particles popping in and out of existence. And voila, nothingness. Nothingness, is reality after we delete everything out of existence. But wait, there's still space. It still has dimensionality, and curvature. There is still time and physical law, even if there are no particles or fields left to be governed by them. Let us delete those two. Let's erase the volume of space, erase time, and erase physical law. Quote. When we say out of nothingness we do not mean out of the vacuum of physics. The vacuum of physics is loaded with geometrical structure and vacuum fluctuations and virtual pairs of particles. The universe is already in existence when we have such a vacuum. No, when we speak of nothingness we mean nothingness, neither structure, nor law, nor plan. End quote. John Archibald Wheeler in Law Without Law, 1983. What are we left with? If we eliminate all the dimensions of space and time, we're left with a zero-dimensional, changeless point. But a point is still a thing. Can we delete that too? Kinds of nothing. So long as we operate from a theory of geometry, we can't define nothingness as anything less than a space of zero-dimensionality. This leaves us with a point. If we want to eliminate the point, we need to define nothingness not as a space of zero-dimensionality, but as something non-geometric. For this, we must define nothingness in terms of some other theory. But any theory we might choose has its own notion of nothing. In other words, nothingness is theory-dependent. For physics, it's no energy, the vacuum. For geometry, it's no dimensionality, a point. For set theory, it's no elements, the empty set. For arithmetic, it's no magnitude, zero. For information theory, it's no information, zero bits. There is an unlimited number of possible theoretical systems. Does this mean there are also unlimited conceptions of nothing? Quote. Nothing is simple. Not even nothing. End quote. Bruno Marshall? Might there be a true nothing, one with no laws, principles, nor any theory behind it? Or might every conception of nothing require a theory of things in order to declare that there are none of them? Rules for nothing. Wheeler called for absolute nothingness, neither structure, nor law, nor plan. But is this kind of absolute nothing achievable? For instance, the law of identity holds that for any a, a equals a. Without such a rule, there would be nothing to ensure that nothing stayed nothing, and didn't later become equal to something. For nothingness to persist, the rules of logic must apply. Further, if nothingness is the state where zero things exist, then the rules of arithmetic must also hold to ensure that zero equals zero rather than zero equals one. For there to remain no things requires some minimum set of laws. There might be no things as such, but the idea of no laws seems incompatible with their being and remaining no things. Quote. 
In the beginning, there was only truth, logic and their relation. No possible reality can do without them. C. W. Ryatijkin Four Dimensional Reality Continued, 2018 If there were no logic, what logic or reason ensures that nothing comes from nothing? If there were no laws, what law or principle would prohibit the spontaneous emergence of a universe? The trouble with nothing. Can we define nothing in a way that suppresses all forms of existence? That is, to not only have no things, but an absolute nothingness, a nothingness of no objects, neither abstract nor concrete, no properties, no laws, no principles, and no information content. Or is this a fool's errand? One that leads to a logical inconsistency and thus an impossibility. Might nothingness be, in some sense, unstable? If absolute nothingness can be shown to be an impossible dream, it will advance us on our path to discover the reason for existence. It might even reveal some self-existent or necessarily existent thing.